The complete installation guide for logistics intermodal strap. The one-way solution for securing light to heavyweight, regular or irregular shape loads in intermodal shipping containers. Before or while loading the freight, determine the best location for installing a set of intermodal straps. The intermodal straps should be placed an equal distance from the floor and at least six feet or about two pallet rows before the end of the load. This placement is critical because it helps maximize the sheer strength of the intermodal strap. The entire application area must be clean and dry to ensure proper installation. Using a dry cloth, and if needed, a scraper and rubbing alcohol, remove all dirt and debris from the application area. The intermodal straps need to be positioned so the entire adhesive surface on both wings will make direct contact with the container wall. The handles, which are the anchor points, must be directed towards the end of the load or in the direction the freight could move. To install the first intermodal strap, remove the blue tape backing from both wings and place the intermodal strap on the wall. Press firmly against the wings of the intermodal strap to assure that the tape bonds to the wall. Repeat this procedure with the second intermodal strap on the opposite wall making sure that it's positioned at the same height and at least six feet before the end of the load. Important, once the intermodal straps are installed, they cannot be repositioned. Two pieces of AAR banding and three buckles are recommended with the intermodal strap system. To determine the proper cut length for each piece of banding, be sure to include the distance from the intermodal strap to the end of the load plus the full width of the container. Next, attach the AAR banding to each intermodal strap handle using a buckle. Hooks, rope, or other banding alternatives may be used, but they could reduce the system's restraining capabilities. Using tape, temporarily secure the two pieces of loose banding to the container wall so they will be out of the way and accessible after the freight is loaded. Once the remaining freight has been loaded, pull the two pieces of loose banding around the end of the load and use a buckle to fasten the pieces of banding together in the center of the load. After buckled, pull tight, and then use a banding tensioner to secure the freight. Corner protectors may be needed to prevent the banding from damaging the packaging.